A black hole is one of the most mysterious and fascinating objects in the universe. Black holes are regions of space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from them. Black holes are formed from the remnants of massive stars or through other processes involving dense concentrations of matter. In this video, we will delve into the anatomy of a black hole, including its components, formation, and ultimate fate. To understand the birth of black holes, we first need to understand the types of black holes. Each of these types of black holes has its unique way of formation. As of today, there are primarily three main types of black holes, each classified based on their mass. Stellar mass black holes are black holes that typically have a mass that ranges from approximately 3 to 20 times the solar masses. These black holes are formed from the remnants of massive stars. When a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer counteract the force of gravity, leading to a gravitational collapse and the formation of a stellar mass black hole. Stellar mass black holes are often detected through their interaction with nearby stars or the X-rays emitted from their accretion disks when they capture matter from their surroundings. Examples of stellar mass black holes include Cygnus X1, with a diameter of 90 kilometers at 6,000 to 10,000 light years away in the constellation Cygnus, with roughly the mass of 15 solar masses, and NGC 300 X1, with a diameter of about 75 kilometers at 6 million light years away in the galaxy NGC 300 in the constellation Sculptor, roughly the mass of 15 solar masses. Intermediate mass black holes have masses between stellar mass black holes and supermassive black holes, typically in the range of thousands to hundreds of thousands of solar masses. The formation mechanisms of intermediate mass black holes are still a subject of research and debate. They may result from the gradual accumulation of matter in dense star clusters or the mergers of smaller black holes. Intermediate mass black holes are less commonly observed than stellar and supermassive black holes. Their existence and properties are still the focus of ongoing scientific investigations. Supermassive black holes are the largest of the three types, with masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our Sun. The formation of supermassive black holes is a complex and active area of research. They are commonly found at the centers of most galaxies and may have formed through the accretion of matter over cosmic time mergers of smaller black holes or other processes. Supermassive black holes are often detected indirectly through their influence on the motion of stars in galactic cores, the radiation emitted by their accretion disks, or in some cases by observing the gravitational waves produced by the mergers of supermassive black holes. An example of a supermassive black hole is the first photographed black hole at the center of the galaxy M87. The picture here is a view of the M87 supermassive black hole in polarized light, taken by the Event Horizon Telescope and revealed on the 24th of March 2021. This supermassive black hole has a size that is three times the diameter of Pluto's orbit around the Sun and has a mass that is equivalent to 6.6 .6 billion solar masses. Other examples include the black holes at the cores of Tun 618, NGC 6166, ESO 444-46, and NGC 4889, which are among the most massive black holes known. At the core of every black hole, there exists a singularity. In the context of a black hole, a singularity refers to a point within the black hole where the mass is concentrated into an infinitely dense and small space. This point is often considered the core of the black hole, where the laws of physics, as we understand them, break down. The singularity is located at the very center of the black hole, and it is surrounded by the event horizon, which is the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's gravitational pull. The concept of singularity is a prediction of Einstein's theory of general relativity. In simple terms, it represents a region where the gravitational field becomes infinitely intense and space-time curvature becomes infinitely severe. At a singularity, density and gravity become infinitely large, and our current understanding of physics cannot accurately describe the conditions. The event horizon of a black hole is a critical boundary or surface surrounding the black hole beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape its gravitational pull. 
It is a defining feature of black holes and plays a fundamental role in their properties and behavior. The event horizon is often referred to as the point of no return. Once an object or particle crosses this boundary and enters the region inside the event horizon, it is inevitably drawn toward the black hole's singularity at the center. There is no known force or speed that can allow an object to escape once it has crossed this boundary. The event horizon is created due to the extreme curvature of spacetime near the black hole. It is located a certain distance from the black hole's singularity, determined by the mass of the black hole. In more massive black holes, the event horizon is farther from the singularity, while in smaller black holes it is relatively closer. The size of the event horizon is directly related to the mass of the black hole. For example, in the case of a stellar mass black hole formed from the remnants of a massive star, the event horizon typically has a radius of a few kilometers. In contrast, supermassive black holes found at the centers of galaxies have much larger event horizons, stretching across millions to billions of kilometers. One of the most intriguing aspects of the event horizon is that it renders the interior of the black hole completely invisible to outside observers. Because nothing, including light, can escape from within the event horizon, we cannot directly observe or receive information from the regions inside it. This makes the event horizon a profound concept in astrophysics, as it poses unique challenges to our understanding of the universe. An accretion disk is another crucial component associated with many black holes and other astrophysical objects, such as neutron stars and young stellar systems. It is a flattened, rotating disk of gas, dust, and other matter that spirals inwards toward the central black hole due to gravitational attraction. Accretion disks form when matter, such as gas and dust, is attracted by the gravitational pull of a central object, like a black hole. This matter may originate from nearby stars, interstellar gas clouds, or other sources. As the matter falls towards the black hole, it loses angular momentum and spirals inward, eventually accumulating in a disk-like structure. The matter in the accretion disk follows Keplerian orbits, which means that the inner regions of the disk rotate at higher speeds than the outer regions. This rotation imparts angular momentum to the matter, causing it to maintain a relatively stable, flat configuration. The conservation of angular momentum is a fundamental principle in the formation and stability of accretion disks. As matter in the accretion disk spirals closer to the black hole, it is subjected to extreme gravitational forces and friction. This gravitational energy and frictional forces convert some of the matter's potential energy into kinetic energy and heat. Consequently, accretion disks can become incredibly hot and emit intense radiation, often in the form of X-rays and in some cases visible light. The matter in an accretion disk can influence the black hole itself. As material spirals into the black hole, it can release energy in the form of radiation and also generate powerful outflows and jets. These outflows can, in turn, influence the environment around the black hole and impact the evolution of the black hole system. Accretion disks are not only associated with black holes but also with other celestial objects. They are fundamental components of active galactic nuclei, X-ray binary systems, and young stars, and studying them provides valuable insights into the dynamics of matter in extreme gravitational fields and high-energy astrophysical processes. The photon ring is a fascinating and relatively recent concept in the study of black holes. It refers to a specific region around a rotating black hole where the gravitational forces are so strong that photons, particles of light, can be trapped in stable, nearly circular orbits. The photon ring is a direct consequence of the warping of space-time caused by the black hole's immense gravity and the effects of its rotation. The photon ring is formed due to the extreme gravitational lensing and bending of light near a rotating black hole, as predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. In the vicinity of a black hole, space-time is severely curved, and light follows these curved paths. When the black hole rotates, it creates a region where photons can travel in closed orbits. The photon ring is situated just outside the event horizon of the black hole, very close to the innermost stable circular orbit. The innermost stable circular orbit is the closest distance from the black hole where an object can orbit without falling into the event horizon. The photon ring typically lies within a few times the Schwarzschild radius of the black hole, which measures the size of the event horizon. The photon ring appears as a thin, bright ring of light encircling the black hole. It is often described as a series of concentric, infinitely thin rings because photons can orbit the black hole at various 
luminous radii in stable orbits. These orbits are not static. Photons continuously orbit the black hole, creating the appearance of a ring. Doppler beaming, also known as relativistic beaming or relativistic Doppler effect, is a phenomenon related to the motion of objects, including those near black holes, and how their emitted radiation is observed. It is a consequence of the special theory of relativity formulated by Albert Einstein, and it has implications for the study of black holes and other astrophysical phenomena. When matter is in motion near a black hole, some of it can emit radiation, typically in the form of X-rays, visible light, or other high-energy electromagnetic waves. This radiation can be affected by the Doppler effect due to the relative motion of the emitting material. Black holes are not static entities but continue to evolve. They can grow by accreting matter from their surroundings, a process driven by their immense gravitational attraction. As matter spirals into the black hole through the accretion disk, it adds to the mass of the singularity and can cause the event horizon to expand. This growth can occur by gradually accumulating nearby gas, dust, and even the gravitational capture of passing stars. Although black holes are typically considered eternal in popular culture, they are not invincible. Stephen Hawking's groundbreaking theory of Hawking radiation suggests that black holes emit particles over time and can eventually lose mass. Hawking radiation is a theoretical prediction made by physicist Stephen Hawking in 1974. It refers to the radiation that is theoretically emitted by black holes. This phenomenon has profound implications for black holes' behavior and eventual fate. In the theory of quantum mechanics, particles are constantly popping in and out of existence in empty space thanks to what's known as vacuum fluctuations. These fluctuations are a fundamental consequence of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, which states that we cannot precisely know both the position and momentum of a particle simultaneously. Stephen Hawking applied the principles of quantum mechanics to the vicinity of a black hole's event horizon. According to Hawking's theory, Particle-antiparticle pairs, such as an electron and a positron, are constantly created and annihilated near the event horizon. Usually, these pairs annihilate each other almost instantly. Occasionally, one of the particles in the pair will appear just outside the event horizon, and the other will fall into the black hole. The particle outside the event horizon becomes real and escapes into space. This process violates the classical law of energy conservation. Near the event horizon, where the gravitational field is incredibly strong, the energy required to create these particle-antiparticle pairs is borrowed from the black hole's gravitational energy. Over time, as the black hole emits Hawking radiation, it loses mass. The emission of radiation effectively causes the black hole to slowly evaporate. This is in contrast to classical physics, where nothing, not even light, can escape from a black hole. Understanding the anatomy of a black hole, from its singularity and event horizon to its formation and potential outcomes, is crucial for advancing our knowledge of the universe. Black holes challenge our understanding of physics and continue to be a subject of intense scientific research and fascination. As we conclude this cosmic odyssey, we're left with a sense of awe and wonder. Black holes, with their mysterious singularity, mesmerizing accretion disks, and the fantastic photon ring, remind us of the boundless mysteries that await our exploration. Thank you for watching and do remember to like, share, and subscribe.